Can the A plus actually land you a job? Yeah. And if you watch the rest of the video, I'll tell you what. Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMaskey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So I've been in IT almost two decades and I got almost 15,000 students taught. So that may be one of the reasons that you want to listen to me. Now, the, now the A plus has been around for a while, even before I thought about getting into IT. Some stuff has stayed the same while a lot of stuff has changed. We'll actually get into that a little bit later in the video. So what exactly is the A plus? So the A plus is a two part exam and it's a entry level exam. It's usually the first exam that anybody takes when they think about getting into IT. Now I stated before the exams are broken down into two parts. Each part has domains. Each domain has hundreds of subdomains, but the main domains that you need for the first exam are as follows. So on the first exam, you have to know about mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization and cloud computing, and last but not least, and most importantly, troubleshooting. Now on the second exam, well, before we get on that, I actually wanna thank the students in the Zero to IT Hero program, all my present students and all my future students, thank you for trusting me and my team to get you into IT. Now you've grown, so you can take these exams in any order that you like. My students have found that if you take core one first and then take core two, it's a lot easier, but you can take core two and then core one. I would just advise whichever one you feel most comfortable with to take um, that core first. But as far as my students, I always suggest that they take core one first. So we went over core one. Here's what to expect on core two. So on core two, you should expect operating systems, security, troubleshooting and operational procedures. So once you completed core one and core two, you're fully A plus certified. If you pass core one, your mom would be proud of you, but employers will not be right. You got to pass both of them to be fully A plus certified. And when you actually get the certification, when you actually get inside of the room, it's actually time to do what you got to do. You should expect a maximum of 90 questions and you're going to have a maximum of 90 minutes to pass those 90 questions. If you've been trying to get A plus certified, I suggest watching our entire A plus playlist. And another thing before um, I get into story time, because I got a story for you, make sure that you like this video and share it with at least two of your buddies who are trying to take A plus right now. So as promised, you know, I got a story for you. If you want to hear it, here it go. So many, many moons ago, I found out about A plus, right? So long ago that I don't even think the, I don't think the ITL plus was even out yet. So I'm like, you know what? I need to go ahead and pass the certification. The only reason that I was doing it, uh, honestly, was because um, I needed it to get promoted at my job, right? I needed to get promoted at my job. So I was studying, 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 and I made um, a crucial mistake. I was studying core one and core two at the same time. When I tell you it's over 500 topics on both of these exams combined, um, it's a lot of shit to remember, right? So, you know, I thought I was cool, smarter than I actually am, or that I had a bigger brain than I think I, uh, you know, actually do. And I went in there and I took core one, passed it with flying colors, right? And guess what I did 15 minutes after that? I took the next damn test like a damn dummy. So no matter how smart you are, no matter if you know the answers or not, nine times out of 10, after you take the first exam, your brain is going to be fried, right? Your brain is going to be fried. So 15 minutes later, I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and take the second one. And the guy that was um, the proctor for the exam, he was like, you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I, shit, I've been studying for months. Yeah, I'm sure. Man, I went in and I failed it, I felt it horribly. I felt, no, well, not horribly, but I got, think I got uh, maybe 500 and something. And that was the reason why, right? Because shit that I knew that I knew, I couldn't remember it. My brain was just, you know, too overworked and too fried. So one thing I would strongly suggest is do not, do not take both of these damn exams at the same time. Now, you may get a couple cool kids in the comments like, yeah, I took them on the same, the same day and I was fine. One, these are random people in the comments. Two, you don't know if they're full of shit. Three, that is an anomaly. Even if they did do it, I'm proud of them, kind of, but make sure that you set yourself up for success. It's not a race. You just want to get the certification. And another thing is this, believe it or not, it's a lot of people that they fail 
is it a first part or second part? And that's it. It's a wrap. They don't take no other certifications. They fucking get a job at FedEx. They get a job at UPS and they think tech isn't for them. And I don't want that to be the outcome for you. So listen to somebody know what the hell they're talking about and take them at least on separate days. If you got to do it the same day, separate it. Maybe take the first one in the morning and take the other one at night. So let's bring this thing full circle. Why do I have this pen? I don't know. So the A plus can and will get you a job, right? Now, of course, what's understood doesn't have to be said, depending upon your location, depending on how you interview, depending on how you are in general, your interpersonal skills, who you know, you know, is really dependent on um, if you get a job or not. So you could apply for things like IT specialist, server technician, help desk tech, technical support, just to name a few. In the comments, to keep each other accountable, well not me, because I'm already certified and my students are too, but to keep you accountable, go ahead and put in the comments when you plan to take the a plus certification as i said before make sure that you watch our full a plus playlist so you can get better equipped to take the exam and for you guys that are super serious about getting into it not just getting a plus not just getting a couple certifications but actually transitioning into it you can apply to the zero to it hero program now i'll say this because i do not want you to waste your time if you are not super serious if you don't find value and transition to it do not apply to the program the program is extremely rigorous the slots are extremely limited and it is a expensive so just setting those limitations on you right there if all that stuff is out of the water for you all that stuff is no bueno for you keep on rocking out with um, the youtube videos and hopefully they can help you get you to where you want to get to other than that i'll see you in class